one of our previous videos, we talked about this document from the National Institute of Standards and Technology. It's NIST Special Publication 800-53. If you Google that, you'll be able to find the PDF file that talks about these different categorizations or different classes of risk. And there's things you can do in each one of those classes that can help you mitigate risk. Let's step through a few of these. For instance, the technical class. What can we do to help mitigate the risk associated with these technical things that we have in our environment? We can deal with a network access control, 802.1x. We could put in biometrics, card readers, or we could purchase IPS systems and firewalls. All of these things are technical ways to mitigate risk as long as you're implementing them properly in your environment. Another set of security controls for a class would be the management class. What can you do from a management perspective to mitigate risk? Well, you could have somebody come in and test all of your systems. Did we set this up properly? Is it really secure? Maybe have people try to hit a machine from the internet. Are you able to create any security or see any security concerns when you start accessing that machine remotely? Also think about budgeting for security. We have a certain security system now. Maybe we want to add on different types of our security system or build on to our security system. So there's things we can do from a management perspective to address that. The last class in this publication is the operational class, where you can do things like have lunch and learns for security, invite everybody in and talk about some of the latest security concerns. Disaster recovery planning is a very, very common way to operationally manage and mitigate security in your environment. You don't know if your disaster recovery is going to work until you actually do implement a disaster recovery test. So there may be tests for disaster recovery and incident response. Whenever something does occur that is a security breach or another type of concern, how do you handle that? What do you do in the first moments all the way through of handling that particular incident?